Hello everyone. This video presentation named how to check if a Python string contains only digits goes with a um, Jupyter Notebook document uh, with the same name that contains all the code that I will be explaining in this presentation. It also goes with an article by the same name that uh, gives um, an explanation in writing about um, this concept. So basically, um, I researched seven different ways, or I researched a lot of ways, and I found seven ways that, that this would work to see if you have a string what kind of code can you write in Python to check if that string contains only digits 0 through 9? And let me explain what I mean by that. Let's look at my Jupyter Notebook document. So by 0 through 9, I'm really looking at these digits right here. They are called the Latin digits or the Western Arabic digits. They're used in several languages, but not in all languages. So how do we test a string to see if those are the only digits that the text um, contains? So I created um, 11 different ways to, to test your string. The tests 1 through 6 using text 1 through 6 um, are pretty common ways of that, that the, your string can be. It could be digits with some punctuation mark, with some letters, some spaces. So these are some things that you could encounter pretty easily. Um, text 7 through 11 goes through testing uh, the code or testing the string um, in with, with some different types of characters that you don't normally see. For example, text 7 is digits from other languages. Text 8 is superscript and subscript characters. Text 9 is uh, type of digit characters called Karosti characters. They were used uh, in ancient India, but uh, these characters still exist. And, and if your string contains um, these characters, you could run into some issues that I will be explaining later. Um, the other one, the other test is the test with common fractions like one-fifth, one-tenth, um, so, so if your string contains um, a common fraction, you could also run into some trouble. So I will be explaining all of those as well as if your string is an empty string, uh, what could you encounter? Um, the code that I wrote is not very complicated. And since I do provide the, the Jupyter Notebook document, I'm not going to go through the details of every code for those two reasons. First, it's pretty simple. I try to keep a very standard uh, way of writing each of the scripts so that it would be easy to compare them. And since I provide the, the, the Jupyter Notebook document, it's not really necessary for me to go through every detail of, of, of the simple code that, that you would see here. So script number one uses the function is decimal. Is decimal is a is a great way to 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 test your string, except if your string contains these digits from other languages. Um, so if your string contains those digits, is decimal will return true, uh, where it should be returning false. You remember that the only digits that we want to test that, that it are these 0 through 9 digits up here. 
So if your code returns true for anything else, there is something that is not working correctly. Um, so let's, let's run this code and see what happens. You can see here that, that the only place that your code should return true is for text one. And when I ran the code, I see that it only it returned true for text one and text seven. Remember that text seven was these digits from other languages. So if your text contains those digits, then you would run into some issues because it would return true where it should return false. Well, it gets even worse with another, um, another function called is a digit. Again, just like is decimal, is digit works fine if you only have um, the, the zero through nine digits that, that you see here. But if your text or your string contains superscript and subscript characters, like zero, three, and and subscript like zero, uh, like two here, or this other type of character called Karosti character, which, as I said, are from ancient India. Um, if your text contains either of those, you will also it, your code with is digit will also return true, and that could be problematic. So let's look at this code right here. You can see here that the only place that we should get true is text one, but we got true for seven, eight, and nine as well. Seven, eight, and nine is the superscript and subscript characters, Karosti characters, and fractions. And this is what we should not get, but I'm sorry, uh, fraction is, is, is the next script that, that would create problems for. I meant seven, eight, and nine, which is uh, the characters in other languages, superscript and subscript, and the Karosti characters. So if your string has anything, any of these types of characters, uh, you would get a false positive. Let's look at is numeric, which actually makes things even worse. Is numeric is kind of the the superset of is decimal and, and is digit. That means that it would return true for all the characters of is decimal and all the characters of is digit, as well as some other numerical characters like common fractions. So this is also problematic. Let's run this code. You will see here that it had to return true only for text one, but we got true for text seven, eight, nine, and 10. Seven, eight, and nine, and 10. Characters in other languages, superscript and subscript, Karosti characters and common fractions. So if you believe that your string may contain any of these, you will get a false positive. Now, from here on, scripts four to seven, things get a little bit better. So let's look at script four, which uses the int function and um, gives a value error. And this is how we can test the string. So the int function, as you know, uh, will, will convert a string of numbers into uh, digits. But if the string contains anything but numbers, then it would return um, an error message. So by using the, the try except method, we can, we can eliminate the, the error message and use this int function to give us the results that, the results that we need. Now, the only thing that, that is, is problematic with the int function is that the in function also uh, converts 
these characters for digits in other languages into digits and if you have other and if your your string contains these characters you would get a false true or a false positive so this is uh, the idiosyncrasy of this method you can see here that again the only place that it should return true is with text one but we got text seven returning true also and text seven is these characters from other languages now five six and seven scripts five six and seven i would say are probably your best bets if if your purpose is to find to be really sure that that your string contains only digits zero through nine uh, as written here script five uses the the regular expression module the idiosyncrasy with text five with script five is that it would return true for an empty string so in this code i compensated for that at the very top of the code if the string is empty it would return false otherwise by using this regular expression you can you can regular expression pattern you can you can test your your string to see if only digits 0 through 9 are present um, let's look at how this script functions you can see beautifully that it only returned true for text one which is the way it's supposed to be because we compensated for an empty stri empty string so this is a pretty good good way of of testing your string for this purpose there is another um regular expression um that that we can use and this is the R re search again we need to import the regular expression module for this and what re search does is that um let, let me explain a little bit more about re match so that i can compare the two re match looks at the beginning of the string and if it finds a match then that's fine and if you have this asterisk which we did have for re match as well then it would kind of um causes a, a repetition of whatever was at the beginning of the string to also be matched so so re match and re search work pretty similarly except that re search looks throughout the string now now this can be problematic because if at the beginning of the string you have a digit that is what you want and somewhere within the string you have some other letters you, uh, characters you would return a true and this is not what you want but uh, there is a way to compensate for that and it's by using this caret character at the beginning of the 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 search pattern and and the caret character what it does is that it would um limit or it would restrict re search to to only um test for at the for the beginning of this of the string so if it finds a match at the beginning of the string it would return true and and if not it would return false which is exactly what we want and here the the asterisk character is what would make that that repetition whatever was at the beginning of the string whatever um pattern was at the beginning of the string that that we that we chose it would be repeated for the rest of the string as well so let's look to see how this code works again you can see here that that it, that it returned true for text one only and this is exactly what we wanted and um here also just like with re match 
are I compensated for having an empty string. And the last script that I'm going to describe here is um, using uh, string dot digits. String dot digits just uh, actually produces a constant string, and 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 this string is the zero through nine. So this is what string dot digit produces. So the code that that you that you can write is to compare your string to see if the characters of your string match these characters of string dot digit. Uh, Again, you have to compensate for an empty string because you will get a false positive for an empty string. And the code that I wrote uh, imports the string module, and it's pretty simple. Uh, the, the place that you have to pay close attention in the way that I wrote the code is this one. If character not in string digits, then the count goes up by one. So we start with count zero and we go uh, to count uh, increasing it by one if the character is not in string dot digits. And if this count is more than zero, that means that um, a character other than zero through nine was found and the code will return false. Let's see how this code works. Again, re importing the string module for this code. So you can see here that, again, we got very nice results. The only true that we got is what we should have gotten is for these uh, 10 digits. I hope this was useful to you um, and um, if you have any comments or questions, my email is part of the article um, that you would find with this uh, presentation. Thank you for listening and um, see you next time.